What the hell did you guys feed him? It wasn't me. <laughs> what did you feed him? We're snuggling. We had a helmet there. Geo. What did you eat, big boy? So I want to talk about dreams. I want to talk about following dreams and the cost of following those dreams. So let me tell you a story over 10 years ago. This is, we were living in Seattle at the time. My wife, our four kids, we were living in a 740 square foot house. Two bedrooms, we were crammed. I was working for a riverboat company at the time and the boss slash um, owner was a complete slave driver. He grinded every minute out of us. And one day, one day I was uh, having lunch in my car because I couldn't stand being in that place. This epiphany came to me. And at the same exact time, no bullshit, my wife had the same epiphany. And with her vision, she felt like uh, she felt like she needed to pray for me and specifically for our family and the direction of our family. It was a sort of a, a fork in the road and I had to come to a decision, a commitment, whether I was going to take the road of security and boredom or the road of, you know, who knows what could happen, following your dreams, being an artist. Side note, I don't recommend doing this unless you want to be humbled and crushed and lose a lot of relationships and be on your knees a lot. So that, that next day, the boss had me come into his office for a six, months, six month review of my work and he tore me to shit. I left his office with my head spinning. I'm like, I'm out of here. I cleaned up my tools, cleaned up my area, and I took off, never to return. I came home, I don't know if that same day I told my wife uh, what had happened, but you gotta remember, she was on the same page. She already had this vision. And, um, and of course, we chose the path to follow our dreams, to be an artist, to be a musician, and it's come with a lot of struggle, and it's come with a lot of uh, a heartache, and um, we lost a lot of relationships. So the story of how we made it through all those years, I want to save for another another time for that. I don't want to focus on that right now. If something comes easily without sacrifice, it's really significant. It's far better to be the dingy, dirty, unfed dog that is free than it is to be a bored, unfulfilled, chained up dog.
And that's a wrap. <laughs> Do it again.